In continuation uh, of the structural properties part, we will see now the global properties of nodes. We will treat of four main parts. First, closeness eccentricity. Second, eigenvector centrality. Third, between a centrality and equivalence. Actor's closeness centrality reflects how close an actor is to the others of the networks. We use for this a geodesic distance, which is uh, evaluated with the shortest path between two nodes, Ni and Ng. So the measure of all the shorter paths with a distance here, we uh, calculate the index, which is a summary of all the distance from a, a, a node i to all the other node j. We can standardize this index according to the size of the network, so the number of nodes here, uh, j minus 1. And then we can compare the position of a node uh, in a network and in another ne network. Besides, the eigenvector centrality counts the degree centrality uh, and adds the counting of the number of adjacent nodes, and so it evaluates the weighting. Uh, of the value of the linkage of the nodes and add also uh, the centrality of the adjacent nodes. So the index, eigenvector centrality, is a product of the value of the linkages connecting uh, I to all its adjacent nodes J and the value centrality of all these nodes J. In the example here, uh, the B node uh, does not have a high uh, degree centrality, but as it is connected directly to C, which is very connected, it has a very high eigenvector centrality. In the opposite, A uh, has the same degree of B, but does not have a high eigenvector centrality as it is connected to a node which is not very connected. This eigenvector centrality allows measuring of popularity or risk in a network. If you know people who know many other people, so you have more chance to be popular. But at the opposite, if we treat of a, a thematic like a diffusion of a disease, you have more risk to be contaminated by the disease. This second vector centrality was generalized with the beta centrality, where we can make vary the path distance beta, uh, which is used in the calculation. So beta can vary from zero, which is the measure of degree centrality, to one, so one neighbors, and then two paths or free until the whole diameter of the network. This index of beta centrality is very interesting because it is defined locally, but its value takes into account the whole graph. Considering the whole network, the between centrality is a very popular measure. So we take into account here the number of geodesic shorted paths, so between couple of nodes passing through a node J. So we count all these uh, shorted paths passing through J divided by all the shorted paths of the network. So a node's betweenness centrality is equal to zero when it is never along the shorted paths between any two others. This is the case for the blue nodes here, and a node between us is maximal when it lies along every short path between any two other nodes of the graph, which is the case of the star here. Beside equivalence uh, 
property is very used in social networks analysis. There are three kinds of equivalence. So first, the structural equivalence is considered uh, for two nodes that are structurally equivalent if they have identical ties to and from all other nodes in the network. So they have strictly the same relation and the same degree. The two nodes are very substitutable. So here we have, we have a class between one and two because they have exactly the same relation with three and four. We have another class with three and four which have exactly the same relation with one, two and with five. And five represent a single uh, class by itself. The second kind of equivalence uh, is less re restrictive and two nodes are automorphic equivalent if they occupy the structural location, the same structural location in the network, but not necessarily with the same nodes. We speak about automorphic when it is in one graph, isomorphic when it is in multiple graphs. So this uh, automorphic isomorphic equivalence is more general than structural equivalence here. We have, we have a class with one, which is single in this position. Two and four have the same position regarding one, but the same position as well regard, regarding five, six, and eight, nine. Five, six, and eight, nine have the same kind of position, and seven also is alone like three. So the restriction here is that of the, uh, the nodes of the same class, they have the same number of ties and they have the same value of all centrality measures, degree, closeness, and betweenness centrality. A third, third uh, kind of equivalence is the regular equivalence. It is even less restrictive than the two uh, previous ones. Two nodes are regularly equivalent if they occupy the same position related in the same way with other nodes which are themselves in the same position. So now there is no restriction of identical ties and or to be structurally indistinguishable. So here we've got three classes of equivalence. One is a class in itself. Second three four is a class because they are under uh, the power of one and five six seven seven eight nine is a class for example we can have in a in an enterprise a ceo which is one uh, the managers and the employees so each of them constitute a class in this case of regular equivalence we can define the maximal regular equivalence which is a partition with fewest equivalent classes, so the largest classes that we call also coarsest partition. The regular equivalence includes the structural equivalence and automorphic isomorphic equivalence as it is less restricted. In all the three cases of equivalence, the network can be unweighted or weighted, oriented or non-oriented, reflexive or not. So in this part we saw four kind of global properties of nodes, closeness, eccentricity, eigenvector centrality, between a centrality and equivalence. Wasserman and Faust insist on the property of these indexes in order to define the position which refer of the similarity of embeddedness in a network of relation and the rule which refer more on the pattern of relations. And uh, equivalence is maybe more adapted to define the rule, but position can be also defined by the four kind of indexes. <laughs>